how much are you worth to the free market? How much are you worth to the free world of capitalism? A point brought up by another modern day philosopher, Tom Likas. And uh, on this replay of his show, uh, some people were calling in. Um, well, before that, uh, like I said, said that basically you're worth, you're getting paid what you're worth. And this fucking crybaby called saying that, well, you know, my mama, she um, teaches kids how to um, read. Makes them less dumber, and um, she has a master's in English. Yeah, she's not getting paid enough. She needs to get paid more. She's worth more than A Rod, Alex Rodriguez. And uh, that caller uh, struck a nerve. <laughs> struck a nerve with me because. Um, If you know my history, again, you'd see how many, who I grew up with, how I grew up, the champions, <laughs> a bunch of fucking wimps that I grew up with, crybabies, non-believers, and when I say non-believers, I mean non-believers in themselves, believers that supposedly believe in God too, and even if you do believe in God, I would think that if you did believe in God, you'd be more, more amazed at life. You'd be like, wow, you know, I got the power of such an amazing being behind me. Of course this is possible. But even in believing in God, they fail at that. And I know in the past I've said failures and events and not a person, but there's some people that just have the mindset to keep on failing. But, um, you know, if I, if I look at this um, piece that I'm working on here, what's it worth to a Pokemon, compared to a Pokemon sketch that's, um, Maybe had a total of 29 minutes of work into it. 29 minutes of work into it, but was taken to as a yawn and desire caffeine. But was a uh, what's his drying worth with all this time into it compared to a you know, a 29 minute uh, drawing a Pikachu total that's been printed, distributed, sold at every um, venue possible convention, store, sidewalk. Book show, whatever, everything and anything possible. And this drawing was finished, was just had more time. More, um, more volume, more attention to detail, higher quality, this and that. But it just stayed here, here. It didn't get printed, mass printed, it didn't get uh, shown here and there. And um, you know, am I supposed to say, well, no, that drawing, that Pikachu drawing, only has twenty nine minutes worth of uh, art supplies, um, um, character, um, whatever. It's worth nothing. It's worth five cents now. Mine's worth more. But. 
uh, let's say that this piece at that Pikachu drawing for whatever thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of copies of prints. But uh, this drawing just stayed here. And uh, just think about that as a mo for a moment. That uh, a simple Pikachu drawing. And let me blow my nose here. You know, someone's going to say, or think, no, no, but no, you deserve the money because uh, you were, look at you, look at your stuff, man. You, um, you put your heart and soul into it, man. You, of course, man, you were robbed. And I'll say that I'll, I'll disagree. I'll say thank you, but I, I disagree. Back in my earlier years of life, when um, I was trying to get a job here and there, and my my work experience was basically burger flipper. Knows something about customer service, but that's about it. As far as um, capital training for capitalism. Bearing and um, just a high school diploma and, and willpower. That, that's about it. And I look at jobs and think well in order to get this job I need this degree at least this sort of degree this sort of experience for this amount of years um, you need to know this language be fluent in this software in this program this and that and I couldn't be like, no, well, they need to lower their standards and pay me more so that I could do less for them, even though I'm not qualified to even do a third of that. And, um, some way, somehow, uh, people believe that, uh, that that's right. Yeah, you deserve that money. You deserve this, you deserve that. We uh, feel entitled. Fuck that. Man. So let's say it was you that did that Pikachu drawing, right? I have a stick figure here. One. I drew that, but that, just say that there was a quality of something like that, right? But you took it around the world, and some way, somehow, you, you were able to sell it, sell prints like that. Can I hate you for that? If I decided not to um, take the initiative with this piece and make it happen, what you did with your little Pikachu, your stick figure drawing? And uh, I, I think that's what uh, what life that's what life has to offer. You know, yes, you can be born um, with millionaire parents, with um, a nanny, a French teacher, a German teacher. Um, um, what else? Someone that packs your lunch every day, someone that um, 
you don't have to worry about the groceries, uh, rent, um, the mortgage, gas money, um, anything. And then you can say, no, yeah, no, see, see, that's why that rich guy has everything because, you know, he, she, they have all of this, man. Look at me, man. I'm struggling. I deserve this. You know where the, the playing field gets leveled out? We all get 24 hours in a day. And I've seen, I ran into a motherfucker says, Oh, dog, dude, you sell your artwork on the road worldwide, dude, let me join you. Yeah, man, I've got a, I've got a degree in art from this school. I at least spent, you know, fifty thousand dollars a year on my education. I, on a piece of paper, okay. Yeah, I man, I could join you, man, and we could just make sales and do this and that. And I'm thinking, all right, I'm thinking, cool, there's a smart motherfucker here. And I simply asked, cool, man, I'm down. Let me see your uh, collection of work, your portfolio. Oh no, man, it's. I just have a degree and like, you know, I'm working on that. I'm like, no. What are you going to sell to clients or to my clients? What am I going to show them? You've got nothing to show or you've got nothing to sell. You're um, pretty much worthless. No, but my mama says that, you know, I'm number one. This college degree says that I know what I'm doing, yo. Um, okay. Stay here. Um, stay here at this cafe. Um, get some salt and pepper. Um, eat that degree of yours. You know, and just tell people that um, that you're smart, that you know this and that. And you know, and and, and just keep doing that. Tell them that uh, you're special, that you're unique. Uh, go ahead. Me, me, I'm not, uh, I don't live in that world. And I think in America, it's, uh, you get paper for what you uh, bring to the market, for, for what value you bring. Nobody see, man. If we were all communist. <laughs> Fuck communism. Just a thought, man. Just a fucking thought. If you disagree, you could dislike the video. If you agree, you'd like the video. If you want to have a point, talk shit, leave a comment, negative comment, but uh, explain why.